Tokyo 2020 Olympics will open in two years, and the heat is on. Potential for scorching summer conditions has always concerned organizers, with temperatures in central Tokyo often exceeding 35 Celsius, 95 Fahrenheit, in July and August, made more difficult because of high humidity. The 2020 Olympics will open in two years, and the heat is on. Since being awarded the Games, which will be the largest ever with 33 sports and 339 events, Tokyo organizers have had to deal with a series of problems ranging from stadium and construction delays, natural disasters and a scandal involving the official logo. Most of the obstacles have been cleared up, but the deadly heat wave gripping Japan has focused organizers on ways to keep fans and athletes cool when the Olympics begin on July 24, 2020. Potential for scorching summer conditions has always concerned organizers, with temperatures in central Tokyo often exceeding 35 Celsius, 95 Fahrenheit, in July and August, made more difficult because of high humidity. This summer heat wave has resulted in more than 65 deaths and sent tens of thousands to hospitals. The temperature on Monday reached 41.1 Celsius, 106 Fahrenheit, the highest ever recorded in Japan. Experts have warned the risk of heat stroke in Tokyo has escalated in recent years, while noting the Olympics are expected to take place in conditions when sports activities should normally be halted. We are mindful that we do have to prepare for extreme heat, John Coates, head of the IX Coordination Commission for the Tokyo Games, told the recent news conference. The 1964 Games in Tokyo were held in October to avoid the harshest of the heat. That was before the Olympics schedule was influenced by rights paying broadcasters and sponsors. Local organizers are doing what they can to help athletes combat the conditions. The marathon and some other outside events will be held early in the morning to avoid extreme heat. The federal and the Tokyo metropolitan governments are also planning to lay pavements that emit less surface heat and plant taller roadside trees for shade. The spectators as well as the athletes have to be taken care of, Coates said. The timing of the marathon and roadwalks will be as early as possible as they have been in previous games to beat the heat. Organizers want the Games to help showcase Japan's recovery from the 2011 earthquake and tsunami that took more than 18,000 lives and triggered meltdowns at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. While reconstruction from the disaster is making steady progress, and work on the new 68,000-seat main stadium in Tokyo is 40% complete. More than 70,000 people remain displaced from their communities. The construction of the main stadium was more than a year behind schedule when it started in December 2016, as earlier plans were scrapped because of spiraling costs and a contentious design. The Japanese government approved the new 150 billion yen, $1.5 billion, stadium which is expected to be completed in November of 2019. The previous construction timeline would have allowed the main stadium to host the 2019 Rugby World Cup final on November 2nd as a test event, but that idea was scrapped. Meanwhile, organizers say the other newly constructed venues are 20 to 40 percent complete. The torch relay will start March 26, 2020, in Fukushima, an area hit hard by the disaster. Coates said local organizers are on track with 24 months to go. Tokyo 2020 comes a significant step closer to delivering an Olympic Games that will bring Japan and the world together, he said. The organizing committee has presented considerable progress especially as it related to venue and operational readiness. Yeah.